Are you wondering what it's like to live in the great town of Watertown, Connecticut? Located here in Litchfield County, the population of Watertown has grown to 22,500 people. It's obvious that this suburb of Waterbury is one of the fastest growing real estate markets in all of Connecticut. Let's take a tour and find out why. Welcome to CT Life. I'm Dave Jones with Dave Jones Realty. If you're interested in life here in CT, then you're in the right place. Hit subscribe above and you'll be notified every time we do a new video. Today, we are out in Watertown, Connecticut. I'm going to give you a tour. All right, now we're standing in front of iconic Taft School in Watertown. Taft was founded in 1819 and is home to such a diverse student base that people from over 45 different countries come here. It is a boarding school, grades 9 through 12. While we're talking about schools here in Watertown, they have plenty of them. There's John Trumbull Primary School, Judson Elementary, Polk Elementary, Swift Middle School, Watertown High School, and Watertown Transition Academy. Now that you know a little bit about the schools, let's go see some of the fun things to do here in Watertown. If the sun is shining, you want to check out Veterans Memorial Park. It features playgrounds, soccer fields, baseball fields, gazebos, comfort stations, walking trails, Latin's Pond for fishing or hiking, horseshoe pits, bocce courts, picnic tables throughout the park, and there's also an area designated for skateboarding. Another great way to spend an afternoon is at Hawk Ridge Winery on Plunges Road. It's one of the coolest wineries here in Litchfield County. Be sure to check it out. Okay, so now we're here on Main Street in Watertown where you will see one of the pros of living in Watertown. There is a huge variety of stores here. Everything from fresh made bagels to comic book shops, hair salons, barber shops, automobile centers, fast food, clothing stores, just to name a few. Watertown is also known for its awesome restaurants. Everything from Uncommon Grill, 16 Straits Taps and Taverns, Sakura, the iconic Davilies, and one of the best rated Italian restaurants in all of Connecticut, Roma's. Back on Main Street, you're gonna find Manja, Thai Bowl, Jimmy's, Rock Garden Cafe, G's Burgers, and Carvel. Watertown truly has an endless supply of restaurants, and all of them are great. After this endless supply of great restaurants, you're gonna wanna check out something for dessert, and that's when you should head right over to Hardcore Sweets. They've been featured on the Food Network, Cupcake Wars, Cooking Network, and you can get some of the best cupcakes in all of New England. Here in Watertown, you're gonna get the hometown market feel and shop at places like the Watertown Meat Center, Laban's, but you can also have the convenience of some big box retailers like Stop and Shop and Staples. One con of living in Watertown is the lack of parking on Main Street. There's also currently a bunch of vacancies for businesses on this awesome little Main Street. Have a business idea? There's no better time than right now to take the leap and open it. Give us a call, we'll help you walk through the process of setting up your business and leasing out some commercial space. Now that you know a little bit about what there is to do here in Watertown, let's talk about whether or not Watertown CT has a life that's affordable and what you get for the money here in Watertown. One kind about living here in Watertown, Connecticut are the home prices. When compared to neighboring towns like Waterbury and Thomaston, the values here are much higher but you do get an awful lot for your money. In 2019, a total of 272 single family homes sold. These properties averaged three bedrooms, two baths, seven rooms, 1,685 square feet on 1.1 acres on the market for 71 days. The average sales price was $235,664. That worked out to be an average of $143 per square foot. Also in 2019, a total of 39 condos sold. These condos averaged five rooms, two bedrooms, two baths, 1,300 square feet, and the average sales price was $167,000. That works out to be an average per price for square footage of $126. So what did you think? There are so many other great things that we didn't have time for, like Watertown Historic Society, Black Rock State Park, 
Sunset Grill, just to name a few. There are a lot of reasons to love Watertown, Connecticut. It's one of the reasons it's one of the hottest markets here in Connecticut. Want to see some homes here? Give me or somebody on my team a call and we will get you out seeing properties immediately. While we're meeting with you, we'll also give you a local Watertown guide and introduce you to all the shops that we visited with all their contact info and our personal recommendations. Don't forget, I'm Dave Jones with Dave Jones Realty. If you have any questions about life here in CT, be sure to send me a message and click subscribe above and check out the next episode of CT Life.